I needed a decent desk lamp for a while. I read a review of this Blitzwolf uh, BW LT1 table lamp on a blog a few weeks ago and when I saw it on sale on Banggood I decided to purchase it. I got it delivered in 15 days from an EU warehouse. It came in a slightly dented cardboard box. Inside everything was wrapped individually and also covered in a transparent foil for extra protection. The base and the arm came in separate pieces which are locked together with a special locking nut. Other than that, the box contains the mains charger which outputs 12 volts at 2 amps and terminates in a regular barrel plug. Everything is made of plastic and has a very nice shiny white finish. The base is heavy and has rubber pads at the bottom. By the way, there is also a black version available. I have no issues with the aesthetics of this product. The joints are nice and precise, the parts meet up with each other as they should. The entire lamp moves around in many different ways. The lamp rotates around the base 180 degrees. The lower part of the arm is uh, either in the vertical position or can lean uh, forward up to 40 degrees. The top part of the arm can fold down against the lower part in a vertical position or come up to 19 degrees to a horizontal position and then further extends 50 degrees upwards. The lamp head also rotates 90 degrees left and right. Just watch the video and you get the idea. The manual is a single page leaflet in decent English with some typos. The front contains the main specs, four modes, uh, five brightness in each mode, two and a 2.1 amp USB charging socket and a 15 watt LED. On the back a few more details on the different modes. Each mode uses different color temperature. So the read mode is at um, um, 5300 kelvins, the study mode is 6200 kelvins, relax mode is 4200 kelvins and the sleep mode is uh, 3300 kelvins. In the bottom part of the page you see assembly instructions, uh, positions and the parts supplied. Before I show how the lamp works, a bit more about the materials. As I said, it is all plastic. For that reason, the lamp is a little bit flimsy. It does not rattle or anything like that, but you move the lamp and it dances around a bit. If you touch the buttons a little bit harder, the lamp shakes a bit. Also, as you can see in the video, it is not perfectly upright. It is leaning forward just a slightly bit. I'm not sure if it's my only model or it's just a general thing of this lamp. I can move the arm to the upright position, but then the whole lamp pulls the arm back just a tiny bit. I added this picture just to give you an overall dimension of the lamp. It is not small at all. It stands well above my 20 inch LCD screen. The operation is very simple. The on off button comes up red when the unit is turned off. You touch it and the lamp, a lamp comes on uh, to the same settings it was in last time. The light comes on immediately. Quick fade would have been a nice touch. You activate the four different modes by touching the corresponding buttons. The read mode is a natural white light, the study is a cold white, relax mode is a warmer uh, than read mode and the sleep is the warmest. The intensity reduces in the same order, but in each mode the brightness can be controlled in five steps using the up and down buttons at, on top. Again there is no fade, the intensity changes immediately. The lamp remembers each setting in each mode. Above all, um, there is a 60 minute sleep button. Touching that starts the timer and the on-off button starts flashing. Touching it again deactivates the timer. And that is pretty much it when it comes to the lamp functions. There is a table on the side of the box showing the rated brightness in each of the mode and each of the settings. Now let's test the lamp itself. It is dark now, I have a single uh, 10 watt LED warm light bulb on the ceiling for general illumination. It is not super bright, I, would use it, I wouldn't use it for reading, I just use it when I'm around in the room and looking for something. I set the camera on manual white balance and exposure, so you can compare the lamp uh, to, the, to the ceiling uh, bulb. First, the read mode in the five different brightness levels. Now the study mode in all the five brightness levels. And the relax mode in the same five settings. And finally the sleep mode. 
and this is the full brightness of the read mode against the flashlight on my Nexus 5X. And now um, with the screens turned off you can sleep, uh, see the sleep mode again in complete darkness. I hooked up the lamp to a power meter. I'm getting about half of what consumption as standby which is in line with the US and EU lows um, on the allowed power consumption uh, on standby mode. When the lamp is working it seems to draw anything from about 1.4 watts to 11 watts. So the 15 LED on the spec is more like a marketing line as the entire unit only draws about 11 watts at maximum. The USB port on the side supports charging at 2.1 amps. I tested it with my wife's Nexus 5 and, and my Nexus 5X. The latent can support a fast charging over the USB Type-C connector. Whenever I'm using the fast charger, I get a charging rapidly message on the home screen. I'm getting the same message when I'm using the charging socket on the lamp. Therefore, it can certainly deliver the 2.1 amp stated. Of course, it has no issues charging an iPad too. In summary, I'm very happy with the lamp. Currently, it is selling for 4568 US, but I got it from uh, 3958, and I think it was around 37 uh, something if uh, ordered from the app at some point. For this, you are getting a nice modern design with nice and straightforward features, what you would expect from a desk lamp. It is not the most solid construction ever, but pretty much what you get for about 40 bucks. Thanks for watching.